guys, welcome back to my channel. First up, I'm going to start by applying some regular sticky tape on the sides of the eyes just for a clean and nice guideline. And then I'm going to go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to use as an eyeshadow base. And then I'm just going to set that with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, just the vanilla shade. This is just going to help all the eyeshadows blend on top nicely. Starting off with the shade Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and blend that into the crease area as a transition shade. Using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette, I'm just going to take that lightish brown shade and run that through the crease area using a fluffy crease brush. Using that same palette, I'm just going to pick up that slightly darker brown shade and just work that into the outer crease area. Then still using that same palette, I'm going to pick up that darkest brown shade and just run that pretty much straight over the top of where we put the last shade. This is just going to give the eye a little bit more depth and make it a little bit more darker. Using the shade Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek, I'm just going to apply that into the inner portion of the eye just using a flat shader brush. And then I'm just going to go in with Cocoa Bear also by Makeup Geek and blend that into the center of the eye and pulling it backwards into the dark brown shades. Just making sure that everything's blended and that there is no harsh lines. To create a wing, I'm just going to be using my Maybelline Gel Liner in Black as Black on my Zoeva 317 Wing Liner Brush, which is my favorite brush to do wing liner. It's so amazing, you guys need it in your life, pretty much, end of story. Okay, so now moving on to the face, I first go in and clean it with the Garnier Micellar Water just to ensure the face is clean before we start our application. Then I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and just apply that all over the face for a smooth, base and then I'm going to go in with the Studio Fix foundation in the shade NC37 and just apply that with a little um, like kabuki brush and then go in with my beauty blender and blend that foundation out. Using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20, I'm just going to firstly apply that down the center of the face and then just go in with my damp beauty blender and blend that out. As you can see, I keep flipping around my beauty blender. This just helps me blend out the concealer in with the foundation. So yeah, I thought I would show this in the clip because it's a really good tip. So yeah, once I finish doing the center of the face, I'm just going to go in underneath the eye area and apply the concealer and also blend that out with my damp beauty blender. To set that concealer, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I'm going to take that banana shade and just press that into the skin using the Real Techniques setting brush. To set the rest of the face, I'm using the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder in the shade Darkest Brown. We were going for full coverage today, so this is perfect. It just gives a little bit of an extra coverage. Now moving on to brows, I just go in and brush through the brow hair. Then I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Palette. I'm taking the Soft Brown Duo and just filling in any sparse areas. She did have her eyebrows already tattooed on, so I didn't really have to touch much or do much. I just shaped them a little bit and just extended the brow a little bit more and that was it. Taking that same MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, I'm just going to take a concealer brush and define underneath the eyebrows even more by cleaning up and making them look nice and clean and sharp. Uh -huh. 
To bronze the skin, I'm using Gimme Sun by MAC Cosmetics. I'm just running that down her cheekbones, her forehead, her jawline, and just a little bit in the center of her face, just around the nose area. To define the face, I'm going to use the Hula Bronzer by Benefit and just chisel out some cheekbones and also take that onto her temples and her jawline. Moving on to blush, I'm using Makeup Geek's Honeymoon and just applying that to the apples of the cheeks and just blending that back into the contour. Then for highlight, I'm taking Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics and just applying that to the tops of the cheekbones and also the cupid's bow. And to define the nose, I'm just using that same Hula Bronzer by Benefit. And then I'm going to soften down that contour using the banana shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Then to highlight the nose, I'm just using that same Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop and I'm also going to take that onto the brow bone and also into the inner corners of the eye. Using the same gel liner by Maybelline, I'm just going to put that straight into the lower waterline and then to smoke that out, I'm using the shade Coco Bear by Makeup Geek on a pencil brush and just really smoking that shade out underneath the lower lash line. Then to darken up this look, I'm going to use Corrupt by Makeup Geek and just smudge that in to the lower lash line. Then just using the same pencil brush with no extra product on it, I'm just going to go in and blend those two colors out so there's no harsh lines. Moving on to the lashes, she already had extensions on, so we didn't bother putting false lashes on. We just coated the top and bottom using the Better Than Sex Mascara. To line the lips, I'm using Cherry Lip Liner by MAC Cosmetics and I also fill in the lip area as well as this gives a base for the lipstick and makes it last longer throughout the day. For lipstick, I'm using Ruby Woo by MAC Cosmetics and just applying that to the entire lip area. To finish off the look, I'm just going to spray the face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!